hey everyone welcome back to my channel it's dish bella here and in this video i'm going to be showing you my experience flying JetBlue's mint service for the third time i went from jfk to lax so the first thing i always do when i get to my seat is wipe down my seat with clorox wipes before i sat down i did do a thorough clean didn't get that as recorded because i wanted to make sure i got in there So this is the JetBlue Mint menu, Legacy Records. In the menu, they offer coffee and tea. There is a small little parting dessert, and then there's small plates. So the first three items are chilled. The last two are warm. You choose three out of the five. We'll get into what I had a little later, but they also offer wine, hard seltzers, two specialty cocktails. Yeah. So I, this is the third time that I've flown JetBlue Mint service. I was coming once again from JFK to LAX. I am moving or I have moved and I wanted to make sure that I was completely comfortable on this last journey to the West Coast, finding my home. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any comments, make sure you comment below, like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and just enjoy. So when you buy mint service, they always give you a pillow and a blanket. I wasn't sure that I was going to use it, but I ended up just using it. If there's germs, I got them now. <laughs> I watched Eat, Pray, and Love for the, actually the first time. Timing. I think that's amazing. Alignment. And then they start you off with a croissant. From the croissant, they'll ask you if you want anything to drink. I did the al pastor margarita. And then this is what I had to eat. So I did the side of bacon. I did the poached eggs, moat salmon, and a waffle. And you'll see a little later how I cleared that plate. I was so hungry. The flight attendant was like, oh my gosh, you were hungry. And I was like, starving. <laughs> the food was everything. It was so good. And the portions are so small, but because they give you so much, it's literally the best. Do you see? I cleared my plate. She cleared it. Okay. And then we got ready to take our nap. <laughs> So in every mint seat, you do get a Wonder Fuel package. In that package, it's just the essentials that you'll need for the duration of that flight. So on this flight, they gave me mints, I had a deodorant stick, a coconut wipe, chapstick, and a hydration package so I could put it in water. And then I also had a pair of socks. So every flight is different. The first two jet blue mint service flights that I've taken, the packaging was completely different and one I got lotion another one I got toothbrush so they're constantly changing things which is really nice and just kind of like it's like a surprise a surprise treat about maybe two hours into the flight they did dim the cabin once service was kind of at a standstill so i did choose to keep my mask on for most of my flight uh it is optional now so you don't have to fly with mask on but you know it was a lot of people sneezing and coughing on my flight and i, I just didn't have time for it okay <laughs> do what you need to do for your body and what you're comfortable with and what i was comfortable with was keeping my mask on for the most part besides this little break i did just now <laughs> So I actually received a $200 credit, a travel bank credit with JetBlue because the night before my flight, I received an email saying that my seat was completely safe, everything was fine. However, I may potentially be missing some of the features in Mint. Um, 
but because the flight was completely full, they weren't able to move my seat. Now, I didn't see that email until I got to the airport, and honestly, I was like, I'm getting on this flight, you know. And honestly, I was thinking like maybe the TV didn't work or maybe the seat wasn't reclining, but I've flown JetBlue Mint twice and I don't know what I was missing. However, I still received the $200 credit without having to ask for it. So one thing I will say about JetBlue, no matter if I'm sitting in Mint or just normal cabin seats, if any time there is a delay and we're taxiing for an excessive amount of time or any time there's an issue, for the most part, they do their part in making sure that before I even be playing V-Plane, I'm getting some type of credit. So I don't know what anyone else's experience is with JetBlue, but that is mine. I have nothing but good things to say about them. Also, if you're wondering how humble of me, but this mint service. So mint service can be super expensive. I always try to look, if I'm not in a rush to get to my destination, I always try to look at what the price range is. Because sometimes you can get a mint flight for like $700 or other times you can pay up to $2,400. I thankfully use my points so I do not have to come out of pocket. I have a JetBlue credit card so I make sure I swipe, 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 swipe because I know I will be coming back and forth from JFK to LAX quite often. So if you have any more questions about my experience with JetBlue Mint, feel free to please, please, please comment below, ask any questions, like this video, share it with your friends, talk to me. I'll try to answer as many questions as possible. And if you're interested in seeing any of my other Fly With Me videos, I will link them below. If you're interested in seeing my experience while moving to LA, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I will be doing apartment tours, doing more videos about how I ship my car from Connecticut to Los Angeles, California, and more. With gratitude, be well. Bye.